Hello, welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. Um, for those of you that are new, I'm not, and, and for those watching this video, the channel subscribers especially, I'm not here to do a reading. I'm here to, to, to let everybody know that I'm going to be gone for a little bit. I can't predict how long. Um, One moment. Um, Saturday night, just past midnight, my husband passed away unexpectedly. I've never watched anybody die before. And I've never had the signs before that this was coming and I did with this. We had a good Saturday. We had a nice supper, dessert. We were watching Christmas movies. Um, he was on a lot of medication for something, just different things. He went to bed about nine. He got up about an hour and a half, two hours later, went to the bathroom, went back to bed, got up again in 10 minutes. And that's when it all started. Um, and it didn't end till about, well, six o'clock the next morning for me, Sunday morning. And a few hours after that, I find myself parked, sitting in a funeral parlor, making arrangements. Um, I know you guys are good for this week, as far as the weekly readings go, for the subscribers. Um, next week, I'm not so sure. Or the week, I don't know, from day to day, from minute to minute, what I'm doing. I'm thinking at uh, the bigger picture that, that running the channel is probably going to be my sanity. It'll keep me busy because Lord knows it takes up 80% of my life. There's a lot of work to running a YouTube channel on a regular basis. Um, and yeah, some of you are probably thinking, yeah, you, you can see things. Did you see this coming? Well, for the smart mouths, yeah, I did. Three months before it happened, I seen it exactly coming. And the day before, there were signs everywhere. And then when I did Mama Cancer, so when I did the Cancer General Weekly Reading for this week, the three cards that turned up for me, and I thought, well, they're not going to resonate with me. And for Sunday the 19th, the beginning of the week, the beginning of the reading, and the night that Eric passed away after midnight was the 19th. The very first card I turned over for Cancer was the card of death. That's the first time that the card of death has been turned over, that it actually literally meant death. Card number two for the middle of the week was the Nine of Swords, if I remember correctly, the Anxiety and Worry card of the Tarot. And the third card, mid to end week, was the Heartbreak card of Tarot. And it literally resonated from the very first day of the reading when it when the reading applied the 19th to the very first card and all the signs that were there um it was not a heart attack we thought it was but um there's been no confirmation on death yet but we're pretty sure that um he threw a blood clot and it cut off the oxygen to his brain and i watched him die and he was aware and that's what haunts me, the face. His face didn't look like him. And uh, there were other moments that uh, are burned in my memory. I want to say thank you specifically to my group, and I normally say our group or the group, but they're mine today. Bay of Fundy Fortunes on Facebook, they're all aware of what's going on. You guys, and this is where I'm probably going to get emotional, I've been overwhelmed with the support, emotional, love, financial. I'm receiving your donations, and I'm very, there's still flies here. I'm always complaining about, the, here we are, the 20th, for heaven's sake, of November, and I have a fly in my house. No, it's not a spirit. Don't be so silly. No, it's not Eric. <laughs> it's just a fly. It is what it is. Fly is a fly. Um, but the group. Um, when Eric died, I had seven cents in my bank account and no more money to the end of the, mo the month. I'm on a, 
an official federal, um, it's called CPPD here in Canada, Canada Pension Plan Disability. Um, that I paid into all my working life and it ended up that I needed it. So it's very small. Um, not enough to make ends meet for sure, but, um, and that's got nothing to do really with all of this. I'm just saying this is why the group came forward. They all pretty much have a feeling or a no, they don't know the detail, but they know that, that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not a rich woman. I'm never going to be a rich woman. Therefore came from my concern about the channel <clears throat> and, and <clears throat> when somebody dies, there's the mundane things in life, the everyday things we have to take care of, even if we're grief stricken or knocked back or knocked down. There are still those things because we don't stay on top of those things. And that brings a sense of anger because I don't want to be dealing with this right now. I don't want to be doing YouTube right now. I don't want to be doing any of this, but I have to think logically for all my spirituality, my connection to, to, to the esoteric and to the, the ether. I'm still very first, very strongly a logical person. And if I can't explain things away logically, then the other things come into play. But I have to look at this logically. This is my bread and butter from private readings. And I don't want to see my my subs numbers starting to roll backwards because I'm, I'm, I'm absent for a week or two or however long it's going to be. So my plea to you is to please just, if you could be patient with me, I'm not the only reader. I'm not, so it's not like your, your day begins and ends with just me. There are many other YouTube tarot readers. So please check them out. Just keep yourself, if you haven't subscribed and you're new, click the, click the subscription button so that the next time I post a video, um, you'll be aware. And hopefully it'll be one where I'm back and doing the readings. But the group, they have funny fortunes. I've always said they're a very special group of people and we all have a connection, all of us. And I always say our group because it's not just me. I just started the darn thing and, and, and the collective group of souls in there is what makes it what it is. It's, it's not me. Um, I'm overwhelmed by your generosity. It's going to help. I'll be very careful with the money that's been given. I'm still in shock. And as the days return to normal, and some time has gone by, maybe then I may have to disappear again. I don't know. I can't predict that. No, I don't see that. Um, I'm, I've been around the world long enough to know. Don't don't be too sure of anything. Um, and in this moment right now, I'm okay. I might not be five minutes from now. That's the way it goes. Um, Eric suffered a lot, and I hope that he's in peace. So in his memory, I will say that. That I hope wherever he's at, his pain has ended. He was like, and I keep saying he was like that little poem. When he was good, he was very, very good. When he was bad, he was horrid and very memorable. <laughs> he was not physically abusive to me. He had a lot of, um, he had a lot of mental health issues. He had five disorders and then he had physical problems, his physical health on top of that. But when year was good, he was very lovable and very likable and everybody liked him. He had a very, he was a large, broad, tall man and, and, and strong. And he had a very large presence physically and, and his personality, you knew when he was in the area, you knew when Eric was in the house and he was an extremely funny man when he was in a good place. He was hilarious. Um, he was kind, he was generous. He would do anything for anybody. He would literally, he smoked and he'd give you his last cigarette and go without. He was, he was very considerate that way. Um, he was an animal lover and his pets have locked themselves in the back of the house and won't come out. We have to go and retrieve them. And every meal cooked here, it's my little TT dog and, the, and my cat Stewie. Every meal, breakfast, dinner, supper, they come out and park themselves at the edge of the, the kitchen here while we cook. The, they're just waiting for food to drop. That was their thing. And every night, one would sit on me in my armchair, one would sit on Eric, and we'd watch movies, and we would both spend the whole evening, every night. 
um, and they, they won't come out of the back of the house because I think they know. I'm sure they do. Complete other people that are used to being here and know them. Noticed after five or ten minutes of land, where where's TT and Stewie? In the back of the house and they won't come out. Isn't that funny? It's not funny, but it's, do you know what I mean? Anyway, I don't want this to go on too long. Life is full of surprises. You really don't know. For one minute to the next. Where you're going to be. What's going to happen. There's so much to be said for living in the now. I'm a big proponent of that. Live in the now. So that's what I'm really doing. Literally. I'm literally living in the now. Moment by moment. Um, I'm overwhelmed by the human spirit. These are people that are walking the talk. They want to do something and they're not just saying it. It's not just a blessings to you or I'll pray for you. It's I'm doing something for you. I'm mailing you a card. I'm mailing you a check. I'm giving you money to help you. We know you're, you have a hard time. Anything to take some of the stress. These are people of action. They're not people like that. <clears throat> To my closest friends, thank you. Um, and I have to put Sherry Chase Doucette up front and center. And my sister, my dragon, because she's been a dragon. And Sherry's been like the, <laughs> the, the Berlin Wall and nothing's getting through unless she lets them through. She always asks every move she makes, every word she says, I would like to say this. I would like to do this for you. Can I do that? You tell me to do it and I will do it. And it's either yes or no. Or, and she respects my wishes. Traditionally, wherever, what part of the world you're in. But here, when there's a death in the family, neighbors and friends come together. They waste no time. They all come through the door. They all bring copious amounts of food. Um, and then eventually everybody goes home. I couldn't handle the house full of people. I'm only one person going through this here. And I couldn't handle it. And I asked her to put that wall up and to, to feed the phone calls and, 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 and the messages and just to give me a little bit of time. It's nothing personal. I just couldn't do that. Uh, I've been in situations where I've gone to someone's house and brought food and, and all that. Um, I couldn't. I just, I said, you know, I said, fuck religion. Fuck, fuck tradition, right? <laughs> just that simple. Sorry. I don't normally swear online, on, any, on air. That's how I felt. I don't care what I'm supposed to do. This is how I feel, and this is what I'm going with in time. I mean, there are people that are coming, and they're 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 coming through, and they're spaced out enough that I can handle it. And thank you to my two two of my two of my three sons that showed up today, and uh, brought food, and they cooked a beautiful dinner, and they even did the cleanup afterwards. It was like going out to a restaurant. I didn't have to cook. I didn't have to do dishes. And finally, the fatigue hit me because I haven't slept since Friday night. Um. Friday night was the last night, and then Saturday night I got no sleep, and I didn't eat. Um, and tonight I finally got a meal into me, and then the fatigue took over, and I went and I laid down once the, the cleanup was done, and they went home, and I slept for three solid hours until there was another knock at the door, and there were more beautiful people waiting and coming with more food. Thank you, Deborah and Michael. Um, everybody that's been here, you're going to be part of these memories that I'll never forget. Anyway, I want to stop here. Thank you, Bay of Fundy Fortunes on Facebook. Thank you. And the friends I chat with off on the side, thank you. Thanks, Jack. Jack's my rock online. He's he's my he's my go to guy. He's the guy that keeps everything normal. He's so normal that he's refreshing. People say, Well, normal's boring, Jack is not boring, he's refreshing. And uh, it's always a good time to chat to, to chat with with him. Um, he's turned into a very good friend. Thank you, Jack, again. And I love you too. Um, there's so much I want to say, but I don't want to go on and on and on. So I sit here alone. Eric had started the uh, decorating, and there's pine boughs around the doorways and over the window tops, and um, the white lights are strung through them all. And he even strung white lights all over the deck, the icicle lights, and they're all lit up. And there's one window not done, and it's right here. And I'll finish that at probably at some point tomorrow or the next day. I'll get up, and I'll finish it, and I'll complete the decorations. We were so poor that we never bought for each other at Christmas. Eric knows um, 
how much I love the Christmas season. And Natalie, the definition, the meaning behind it is child of Christmas. So it fits me or I fit it. His gift to me every year, no matter what was going on with us, because life was turbulent with Eric because of the mental illnesses. But it didn't matter when it came to Christmas. He'd say there, Merry Christmas, that's my gift to you, is to, is to decorate the way you want it done and to the amount you want it done so that you enjoy it. And he didn't get to finish it this year. That's... But I'm going to do it. I'm going to finish it. It'll be for him. This this will be for him this year, too. Anyway, I'm not going to sit here and blubber. Thought I'd do this while I'm in my right mind before reality sets in and I really lose it. But please, guys, be patient with me. All of you in the channel have no idea if I disappear, why I disappeared. That's why I'm doing this. And I'm putting out a thank you to everybody as well. I'm feeling the love. Into the group, there's a connection between all of us. And it's, there's no word to describe the spirit that's in that group. There's no word. And y'all are still free to come join, those of you that haven't. Um, it's a closed and private group. It, everything that goes in there stays in there. Um, anyway, thank you for your good wishes. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your support. Thank you. But just bear with me. This is for the channel. A lot of it, for those of you that aren't part of the group and you had no idea, in case I disappear, that's all it is. But you know what? This is my calling, is to do this. And it's been proven to me real hard over the last couple of days that I'm very much a part of, of the other world. May we all continue to walk in the light and share the love. I don't know how hard this would be a lot harder without all the support that's coming in. Thank you to my, my boys, my family, to my sisters, my friends. Thank you very much. I'll be back when I can. Peace out. So you can share that light out. Thank you very much.